Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avgardian, welcoming you back to Out of the Mark Baseball 25 with the Charlotte Silver Wolves. <clears throat> it's been an eventful offseason, and that's for sure. If we take a quick look here, we can see that we have a new third baseman in Mr. Xavier Edwards, who we acquired through trade. Um, he was only a spring training guy last time, but now he's our starting third baseman. I don't know why he's starting over. Oh, because Gunnar Henderson is suspended. That's right. We have rookie Sergio Zapata, um, who already looks like he is an ultra mega star, but he needs to actually prove it in the field. Um, we have some old friends for the most part in Fujiru, Bo Naylor, Henry Bolt is back from last season, uh, Juan Escalera, and Leover Pagero, and Brandon Marsh in center field. Our pitching staff features a couple of newbies. We have Graham Ashcraft, we have Luis Heal, and we have Toby Allard all of whom were newly acquired players that can hopefully give us a bit of stability in our rotation. Our bro pun also saw some new additions and the person of Joe Boyle. And everyone else I think was here last year. Maybe not Josh Hunter. No, Josh Hunter has been here for a couple of years, so. Arias is new. Um, Hartman is new. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, and I perfectly honestly don't actually know how the season is going to go. We'll go as far as Zapata takes us. If Henderson comes back and has an outstanding year, if Giacoletto builds on what he achieved last season, and Zapata is there to support everybody else, I think we cannot hit our pitching. It's not that our pitching is doomed. Ernie Jarvis has already proven to be relatively durable. He just needs to be more effective. Um, walks got to come down. Strikeouts got to come up. Home runs got to disappear. Bubba Chandler has been at least tolerable. We could use a big name starter. I don't know where that comes from, though. That's our problem. I don't know where that comes from. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, for now, though, let us go ahead and proceed. He'll make the playoffs this season. Anything's possible. I don't place a ton of. My team training is fucking Lubor Sternod. That's an amazing name. I love it. Um, it's always possible, right? It's always possible. But I don't think it's likely. I think we're still one season away, potentially. Maybe. We'll see. For now, let's go ahead and get some baseball in. Because we certainly can't even post it if we don't win any games. I am targeting about 80 wins. If we get fairly close to 80 wins, I'll be pretty happy. I will be reasonably pleased if we can get to about 80 wins. Um, hey, Sergio Zapata hitting 417 to start off his official full-time major league career is a pretty good start. I think I feel pretty confident about that. Um, Phil Locke is getting better, which is good news. Edgar Aguirre is getting better. A lot of people getting better. Not too many that are near Major League ready, but enough. There's enough interesting players here that I am reasonably pleased. Jorge Milanes already slipping is not great. Um, yeah, that's not amazing. Other people are mostly hovering. Um, in one direction or another.
I mean, Chris Mormon, if he can figure out how to hit a little bit more effectively, he's got a chance at a career just because he's a fairly decent outfielder with enough chops to play second base. Um, that's always going to be valuable. If Bill Watt can keep adding velocity, that's going to be really good for him. Same thing for Aguirre, who's actually already fairly close to being Major League ready. Um, we found... Juan Arroyo is not bad. But a first baseman with no power is a really, really tough sell. I certainly don't see him starting for us at any time in the near future. Um, that's right, we did give Zapata, before he even had 100 at-bats with us, a big new contract. And I still think he'll earn it. Um, I think he'll earn it. We got a really good deal if he turns out to be even a quarter of what we think he can be. Um, I think that's a really smart idea. I think it was a really smart deal, and I'm just saying that because I, I'm the one who signed it. Um, we're competitive this year. Um... Uh, losing Ernie Jarvis for 60 days is not great. Is If there's one injury I could not afford, it was an injury to a great starter like him. Um, fuck. I think a gear is hurt too. No, he's not. Then where is he? Nick Robertson is only a reliever. He's not a starter. Same with Jimmy Harmon. He's got to be fairly low on the minors from not to appear on my list. Uh, sigh. Oh, there he is. I need a starting pitcher. I need one pretty badly. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's check on Aaron Ashby is a pretty decent choice. We could bring him back for a fairly small sum. I love someone with a little bit more control than he has, but I can live with that. We could essentially be Josiah Gray, who's the only one here that has decent control. So I will offer him a contract. And I also want to check the waiver wire. And we're trying to sneak through a starting pitcher. We're trying to sneak through Carson Palmquist. Eh. Another walk prone lefty doesn't strike me as a terribly engaging thing. <sighs> Losing Jarvis hurts really badly. I'm just going to sim one day, and maybe two days, because I think he'll sign fairly quickly. Yeah, there he goes. And you're going to go right up to the major leagues, because I need somebody to start for us until Ernie Jarvis can return. We've got to find a way to get young pitching somehow, and I don't know how we do that, but it has to happen. If we're ever going to be a competitive team year in and year out. We need young pitching. And not just good young pitching. We need potentially great young pitching. Um, well, 
Uh, Chandler got better. Alvarado's getting worse. I probably should have traded him last season when he had a little bit more value, um, potentially. Thomason is getting a little bit better. People are throwing harder, which is great, but that's not necessarily enough. Um, have all of my pitching prospects failed? Already? Okay. Player development. Who's my best pitching prospect for now? It's Colton Hartman, who's already in the majors. Colin Fisher and Aiden Keenan are way too close to the top of that list for players that aren't that good. I think all my starters have burned out already. Ah, oh, it sucks. Okay. I have a little bit of depth. Um, in the middle of the infield. I think Chris Thomason could fill in at any infield position if we needed him to. Um, damn, we need some pitching. And I don't know how to get it. I don't know if we can get it. I don't know that we can get it because everyone else needs young pitching too and they're not going give to give it up without me turning over something really special. Fucking Ernie Jarvis... Even like a passel of minor leaguers is probably not going to be enough to get us where we need to get. And we just got schooled by the Guardians pretty badly. I just don't know where pitching comes from. I think that's my biggest concern at this point. I don't know where we actually solve this problem. Um, hmm. Like, I can't be losing close games if we are going to try to make a playoff run. Like, I should be able to win my fair share of one-run games. Maybe the lineup just needs to get even better. Maybe that's the secret. I need a lineup that's so good that I don't even need pitchers. Like, we literally just put, like, the fucking jugs machine on the mound, and it goes from there. Colton Hartman should be a starter at this point. Like, he's genuinely better as a starter than he is as a reliever. Let's get this man some regular innings. Make him a starter, I insist. Um... I was looking at the wrong player development report. Here you go. That's the right one. He's too good to not be a starter, and I don't have the luxury of not having him there. Uh, mostly uninteresting players getting mildly better. That's fine. Um, how are we doing? Our lineup is pretty good. Um... Gunnar Henderson is having a much better second season. A loads better back in season, better second season. Uh, Jacques Aleto is performing quite well as well. Zapata is everything we were hoping for and more. Um, Escalera is proving to be a very nice secondary player. Naylor solid. Fuchi Ru is not getting it done. He's 33 years old, understandable. Who among us is as good at 33 as you were when we were younger? But you're a giant vortex of suck in the middle of this lineup. I can't do anything about that. I could send him to the minor leagues. That's funny. Do we give Navy Rosario a chance? Four. 
I don't love the idea. I'd rather have a much more accomplished first baseman. Give me batting ratings. Uh, among first basemen. A guy like Ian Happ is pretty valuable because even if he's not hitting for a whole lot of power, he still gets on base at a really good clip. Let's offer Ian Happ a contract. Absolutely done. And then I'm going to send Fuchi Ru to the minors, and we're going to opt out of his contract at the end of this year. Oh shit, it's the end of next year. No, it is the end of this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about I just give you a fucking major league contract? I'm not giving you a no trade clause. But I will promise you a starting spot at least for now. Um, yeah, Fuchiru is holding us back. Henry Bolt is too. Um, but I have a little bit more hope that Bolt will improve as the season progresses. Brandon March also needs to be replaced yesterday, but one thing at a time. Um, but Rue's going to the minor. Like, I wasn't going to keep him anyway, but him having a shitty season definitely doesn't help. Um, I really want to give Major Rosario a chance. Oh, nice. Well done, Giacoletto. Have I still not signed this jerk? There you go. Uh, so Fuchiru goes to the minors. There's nothing he can do about it. And I call up Ian Happ to play first base. I want to get Nathan Rosario a chance. Do I send down Henry Bull? Or do I send on Hector Rodriguez? Or trade Hector? I'm going to try to trade Hector Rodriguez real fast. Ideally for a prospect. I don't want to trade for anything that's not fairly decent. I will look at all starting pitching, though. I doubt I'm going to get a great pitcher for Hector Rodriguez, but hey, you never know. Jake Irvin is fine, I guess. Frank Sabayo, a little bit less so. Okay. So Rosario gets that roster spot. I just got to try it. I've got to try having a player with elite power in this band box of a park and see what he can accomplish. Um, the next step is who goes uh, pitching-wise. Our starters aren't bad, actually. It's actually our relievers that are performing really poorly. Jim Resendez is fairly good, as is Joey Cantillo. I think Josh Whaley, I know Josh Whaley's having a really good season. 
Joe Boyle is in. His terrible control is really hurting him. Surely somebody else is going to go, oh my god, is that Joe Boyle? And then we can get something out of him. But he's, his lack of control is really devastating at this point. Simon Wan isn't terrible. Like, it's hard to get terribly excited about it, but it may be the best we can get. If I can get him and Eric Edwards, then I will, I will consider myself pleased. Where is Eric Edwards? I guess I could just search by name. That's probably faster than trying to figure out where he might be. There he is. You just want one more shitty player to make this happen? Fine. You can have Ty Thompson. That's reasonable. And then Jake Irvin slides into onto the team and we'll find a role for him. So we've actually got okay starters with Holtman, Chandler, and hopefully a returning Ernie Jarvis. That should set us up in decent position. Um... All right, let's see how the next month goes. I'm really intrigued if Nathan Rosario can just club the shit out of a few baseballs here and there. He could be a really special find. Uh, but it's certainly not a guarantee. Certainly not a guarantee. And he's still got to make contact regularly. So he may end up being just a flash in the pan, but that's okay. Uh, Luis Heal is also badly struggling with walks. Um, somebody's got to go to the minors, and it's going to be Josh Hunter. No, I want Josh Hunter pitching in the majors. I don't think he has anything left to learn in Triple A. Um, the thing is, both Whaley and Resendez are pitching really, really well. I'm going to try to flip Jose Alvarado and see if somebody is willing to give me a younger pitcher or somebody with a bit more upside to him, like Noah Davis, potentially. Noah Davis, what is your deal? Your deal is that you're not a very good pitcher. Okay. I mean, fair, right? I'm basically asking for something for nothing, but... Oh, Ian Happ had been playing for Arizona. I see. Okay. Um, Jacob Miller's okay. And the thing is, he's worth so much money that trading him for a minor leaguer that even if I still release him, it's still a win. It's still a nap win. I'm going to go for Nolan McLean. Yeah, Nolan McLean is a really good pitcher, potentially. Oh, I don't care what you think. $7 million for him was way too much money. And then Mr. Ernie Jarvis returns triumphantly. To the rotation. I know I have a really patchwork bullpen. That is something I might be able to upgrade at the trade deadline. More than anything else. Juan Carrasco and Chris Thomason probably need to be given 
opportunities once rosters expand. Um, how does a 22 year old have so much time in the major leagues already? Oh, so much time professionally. I guess he just has a lot of time professionally. Okay. I will put Fuchiru on the trade block and see if anybody's interested in him. Oh, uh, you would like to come back, Jose Siri. If you want to fairly... No, you can't play center field anymore. You're useless to me now. Like, you had one fucking job, bro. I'm just going to release you now. I'll call Peyton Burdick, who can at least make his way around the infield. Or fuck, I could call up Juan Carrasco. And give him a shot in the major leagues. Yeah, goodbye, Jose Siri. You've lost all your ability to play the outfield, and therefore you are of no longer of any value to me. Oh, things are happening. Thank you, game. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna guess Peyton. No, not Peyton Burdick. Juan Carrasco is actually a better outfielder. Even if he's not a great center fielder. We're gonna call him up. We're throwing him in the fucking deep end, and we're gonna see if he can handle the major leagues at all. Even though he has relatively few bats in the high minors. No, I can't do that. I can't put him there. Uh, let's put you in double A, but I, I can't do that. Let's get Slade called well. I know he's the kind of player that I have a tendency to fall for awfully hard. But he's a reasonably good outfielder, and right now that's what I need. I will go ahead and add Chris Thomason to the 40-man, but I'm not going to use him yet. Um, his time will come. Ah, Okay. We have a fairly good vibe happening right now. Um, I'm going to keep Mike Cervalli. But I think I let the base coaches go. But I do keep my hitting coach. Because he's done a really good job developing young hitters. So I think he has earned a contract extension. Um, okay. Who else is on my list of coaches? Okay. We're going to check each and every one of these coaches and only offer the really good ones new contracts. The rest of you are going to get fucked. Darren Paxson is fucking amazing. He gets to stay if he wants to stay. Kevin Denis Fortier is incredible. He's staying. Seichi Murakami, genius. Stephen Gann, incredible. Carlos Vidal, outstanding. He is the kind of young manager that I could see getting a very rapid promotion if the right people retire or become uninterested in continuing. I want Kevin Roberson as a manager. I don't really want him to be a pitching coach. But I will keep him along if he's willing to stay along. Daniel Armijo sucks. Travis Thompson, really good. Derek Bell, outstanding. Andrew Contornis is good enough that I think he is worthy of a promotion, so I will keep him. And then let's talk to Scott Cassidy, who is just really, really good at his job. Done. Okay. 
top 100 prospects. No longer any Charlotte Silver Wolves at the top 10. Um, where is our minor league systems at now? Pretty low, which is entirely fair. Uh, we don't have a lot of top line talent. For whatever reason, we just... Uh, part of it is because our best talent has graduated. Uh, in the forms of Zapata and Jacqueline, both of them look like keepers. Um, but yeah, we're going to plow away for right now. And we're going to see who might be available come trade deadline time if we need to upgrade the bullpen. It's strange, isn't it? I spent all this time worrying about the rotation. But it's actually, well, Brandon March wants a new contract. I will talk to you here in a second. I don't know why you're not happy. You're getting plenty of work and you're pitching fairly well. I think you just need to stop complaining. That's my advice to you. Do I want to keep Brandon March? He's a two-win center fielder, and I don't really have a better choice right now. What does he want to come back? I can't afford him. I literally cannot afford him because of the contract extensions. I mean, I can get rid of Uchi Ru. Um, that's a possibility, but that is unfortunate. But it's we can talk to him again at the end of the season if we decide we want to bring him back. I need a more sustainable option in center field, but for right now, I will accept what we've got. Um, player development. Not too much happening. Of note, Ron Necker is becoming an amazing first baseman. I guess that's something. How long is Ian Happ signed for? Just the one year, right? No, he wants a substantial raise. Um, mm. All right. Joey Cantillo is the sole pitcher that makes it. That's weird, but okay. Are you fucking shitting me? Andy Giacoletto does not make the all-star team. But Escalera... Okay, Escalera is really good. So is Zapata. So is Gunnar Henderson. But really? Andy Giacoletto currently has almost five war. Fuck Brady House. Brady House does not serve to be an all- Oh, Brady House is 28 home runs. And Willie Adams is the only player from the Yankees. Ah, oh, that's lame. This is an injustice of the highest gra of the highest order, and I won't stand for it. I will have angry people shaking their fists with rage at MLB headquarters demanding that our, our boy Giacoletto get his get his bag. Oh, uh, but whatever. I think Brady House is the obvious odd man out because he's not even a shortstop. He's a third baseman. Wait. Brady House is not the problem. I mean, Colson Montgomery is fine, I guess. It seems like you're overpaying for home runs, but that's what happened here. It's because the two shortstops are both the only players from their team that could have made it, so... Whatever, fuckers. Uh, we all know who the best player in the American League is, and it ain't any of you shitheads. Speaking of shitheads, Chris Thomason is the only prospect in the All-Star game this year, which is not a great look for us either. Thank God for Zapata, though, right? What a guy. What a guy.
I mean, that's amazing. I've forgotten who Phil Bickford is, but that's still cool, I suppose. Ryan Clifford. Okay. Maybe he's a big red dog. Coming to the All-Star break, I wish we were a little bit better, but I'm still reasonably pleased with where we are. I'm reasonably pleased with that. All right. I know I'm picking 13s. I hate saying this. It has to be pitching again. I'm not in a position where I can ignore pitching. I just can't. Um, no matter how unfortunate that may be, we have to have pitching. Um, almost regardless of the price. Now, David Rangel is a fair choice. If I were, if I didn't have so little pitching talent, I would happily draft him. And I still might, but I need pitching. I need it badly. Uh, Mike Darnell's got a lot to recommend him. That is a shit ton of velocity for a lefty. Decent control, really good at keeping the ball down. Three great pitches. I don't see how I could I don't see how I even look at anybody else. I will at least check, but you throw a lot softer, but you have better control. I'm just gonna take Mike Darnell. I'm not gonna overthink this one. This seems pretty obvious to me. I will give you your slot happily. Okay, I'm be able to get at least one more starter, which is really great news. Um Mm. Garal is a maybe. Jeremy Callender is pretty solid. I do think Garal is better, though. Wally Burgess. No, he's a low control guy. I've got to start. Avoiding those so we can get more control pitchers in our system. We'll take Ian Garal um, for his demand. Jake Hetzel is a real possibility here. But so is Calendar, and I like Calendar's makeup a little bit better than I like the other guys. So we're going to go ahead and draft him and give him his demand. I could turn Burgess into a reliever, but I think when you start looking at other places and other positions, maybe. Uh, Joe Jackson is really good, though. I like Joe Jackson quite a bit. Let's get Joe Jackson. Let's not even think about this one. I need pitching, so I will happily overdraft pitchers if they're qualified. Wally Burgess for free is something I would consider. Oh, but let's look at the other players right now. Julio Sandoval. is not a center fielder, but what he is is a reasonably good pitcher. At least a reasonably good reliever. He's actually a really good pitcher. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Let's take Julio Sandoval as a two-way guy. We'll give him his bonus demand. I think that's reasonable. Okay, well, Dusty Hackett. Is an incredible infielder with a little bit of pitching and a decent enough hitter. This is easy. Easy choice. I think Dusty can hack it. Yes, I went there. No, I'm not going to apologize for it. Dave Satterfield is a thoroughly unremarkable outfielder. He doesn't have any great skills. He doesn't have any bad skills. He's just solid. 
I have no problem with solid, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. Especially for a million bucks. Freddie Dennett is the same thing, but cheaper. Jonathan Jones is, is an okay catcher. But I'm not being overwhelmed with, with joy at any of these choices here. Donovan Lynch, I actually like. He's a decent first baseman. He's not playing third base, but I think he's decent enough that I think he fits fairly well. Let's get Donovan Lynch. Uh, David Cordero is a shortstop only who's got enough power. I would want him to learn second base. But if he can handle second, I think he still has a chance to be a tremendously valuable player. Oh, let me quickly negotiate. I just want to forget to pay this guy. There you go. Jeremy Conway is a really good player, and he's also not a center fielder. But I'm okay with that. Um, I think he is still a worthy choice, and I will also give him his salary demand. Um, I want to try to get a really good center fielder that's really good defensively. Uh, no, I don't want fielding ratings. I want position ratings. Here we go. Jaquan Strouther isn't bad. He's an okay choice. Let's go ahead and draft him. Oh, and I want... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think after 11 rounds, I can let my scouting director have the back half of the draft. I think that's fair. That is unfortunate. Was he any good? Not really. I'm looking for a good young center fielder. I'm willing to pay for a good young center fielder. Um... You know what this sounds like? It sounds like Chris Thomason's music. Because um, that's exactly what he is meant for, is to be... Yeah, you're going to be a, a utility guy. There you go. I'd love to go to Fuchiru. It's not going to happen. Um, it's never going to happen. Because nobody's going to want him. And I've got enough raw power that I'm not that worried about it. Phil Bickford is not that good a pitcher. I think I'm going to have him rehab, but I don't think I'm going to... No, I'm just going to cut him. It's still going to cost me a, a couple hundred grand. It's not worth keeping a guy if I know he's not going to be there. Yeah, a young center fielder, I think, is priority number one, if we could make that happen, but I don't think that we can. Uh, what happened? Xander Muth. I don't even remember who you are. Oh, you were a Rule 5 pick. Yeah, you can go to the minors, mate. Young center field, quality bullpen guy. That's the two things I'm really looking forward to. If we can get them, which may not be realistic. That may not be something we can actually pull off. Uh, um, no, I said good reliever. Josh Zavoris does not count. I will reject your trade offer. I did notice that. I just don't know whether I want to keep you or not. 
because you certainly love giving up home runs and walking people. I think you're the best I can do right now, but that doesn't mean that it's actually something I want. Uh, Jarini Galliano for Dylan Blanc. No, Blanc is better. Blanc is superior. Like, this is a classic idea, right? Like, I'll give you someone decent today for somebody great later on. I'm not saying I don't want Galliano, but I'm saying I don't want Galliano for Dylan Blanc. Uh, what if I drop this and say, do you want somebody else? I just don't see there being too much value in making any of these trades, so you can go to hell. I don't want Galliano that badly. Um, if I'm going to part with a decent prospect, it had better be for a pretty good reliever. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money, mate. I just don't. Okay, let's talk truth. I mean, I would love to have Hunter Brown on my team. I know I cannot afford him. Let's try it and see, but I, I don't see this working out. Hmm. Interesting. For a pretty damn good starting pitcher who I have would have also next year, if you're asking for a surprisingly little, I'm going to take it. I disagree with you strongly. I think Hunter Brown represents a significant upgrade over my current pitching capabilities. Um, he just makes us better. He just makes us better. Um, let me send down Josh Hunter, and we can call up Hunter Brown. Yeah, this is an easy trade for me. Easy trade. Uh, very few of these guys are going to turn out to be anything special. Um, Manners might be decent. But he's also very far away from the major leagues. And I think Hunter Brown helps us right now and next season, which is even better. It's even better. Uh, who do we have in relieving? Really, this is kind of a shitty trade market for relieving. Uh, I'm not going to bother with Jordan Romano. What about a quality center fielder? Is that a thing I can have? Leo Tavares can't play center. Yeah, I'm not going to sign Shane. I'm not going to trade for Shane Boss. That's very short sighted. I could bring back Abner Uribe, but he's super expensive now, so I'm not going to do that. Foscari Noah's decent, I guess. Keegan Aiken is decent. Will Benson play center? He can play center poorly. Nah, Dominic Fletcher is not good. He pretends to be good, but he is not, in fact, good. I could fucking Yoshinobu Yamamoto. That would be wild, and I know this would never happen in a thousand years.
Kyoko Romero is more my speed. Um, yes, I'm willing to trade for Jojo Romero. What would that cost me? A pretty damn good player. What about an Amari Iyab? That does add more people to the list. Oh, Chad Wise actually has a decent chance to be a decent player today. Bobby Barton is uninteresting. I can offer you Bobby Barton. What if I added in Yuki Kimura? That doesn't do anything. I'm not going to pay that much for Jojo Romero. Um, if I'm paying that much money, it's for a player that's going to be around for a while. Not just a one or two year run player. Jose Soriano is actually surprisingly inexpensive. Then again, he's having his one good year in the midst of three bad ones. I don't think I'm going to fall for that. I think you're going to have to look somewhere else if you wish to make that a deal. I just don't see it. I don't see any other move here, which makes you really sad because I do want an upgraded bullpen. But I'm not willing to pay big bucks for a player that may not be here in a couple of seasons. Jordan Romano would actually be more likely to pay for. And all you want for Jordan Romano is somebody I wasn't going to keep anyway and Kobe Allard? Done. Absolutely. Uh, get in here, son. Yeah, that's an easy decision. One of the easiest decisions I've ever had to make as a baseball team. I was never going to keep Kobe Allard. And I just got a significantly improved bullpen. That's awesome. For next season, too. Which is even better. Um, is there anything else I want to just trade to get the best I can? Nobody's going to give me anything for Rue. No one's going to give me anything for or, or for Arias or Hill or a lot of these guys. They might for Rue, I can at least ask. But it has to be somebody reasonably good. What about a center fielder? I saw one guy in the 50. I saw two guys in the 50. Andy Page is not a center fielder. Dylan Carlson is. He's not a great center fielder, but he's a pretty solid one. I think making this trade for Dylan Carlson both helps me this year and next year. Um, Because then I can turn around and offer Dylan Carlson like a short-term extension in case I can't keep Brandon Mark. I'm going to keep looking, but that's a definite trade that could happen. Is there another guy in that high 40s range? That is of interest. I'm not bothering with anything you need here. So I already know what he's got. And what he's got is good enough. Or Derek Curiel for that matter. Yeah, let's get Dylan Carlson. This is as much about dumping the salary as it is anything else. But I do think it makes us a better team this year. Um, Dylan Carlson, I'm gonna offer you a contract extension, but I'm not I'm not like giving you eight million dollars. That's ridiculous. Um I like you better than Slade Caldwell, so Slade Caldwell can go back to the minor leagues. And you can be called up to offer us another piece to the uh, outfield puzzle. Yeah, I'm not going to pay that much more for that, so I'm going to politely decline. I'm just going to end the, the drag trade deadline. I got what I wanted. 
And of course, I got an amazing proposal that would have completely changed my team. I'm just joking. Alejandro Escobar would have been really good, though. I'm giving up a little bit too much for that. But maybe I should have waited and just seen what came of it. But that's fine for now. Man, I could have Alejandro Escobar. That's on me. I should have just simmed one sim instead of simming the whole day. But here we are. I like the Hunter Brown trade. I'm not saying it's without risk, but I'm. it's not going to bite me in the butt anytime soon, which I think is the real point. Um, Ernie Jarvis is getting better. That's amazing. Napier is also getting even worse at hitting for contact, which is not helpful. Yeah, I think this experiment is just about over with. Mike Darnell's getting better. The new guy. The newest guy. This is actually a really good season. Um, like a really, really good season. And I know it's easy to say, oh, it's because of Zapata, and it probably is. But we're getting a lot of great contributions from a lot of players on this team, which we just haven't gotten in the past. It's been a very much a one or two man show. Um like we're the third best, we're the fourth best team in the American League. It's certainly not a guarantee that we're gonna run away with the um with a playoff swap, but I think we will. I feel pretty confident that we're gonna make it. Ah, uh, Luis cancel culture. It sure feels like extending Zapata already was a smart idea, doesn't it? Like he's he's just had an amazing rookie season. Truly special. Truly, truly special. Oh, regular season's almost over with. I think we're almost guaranteed a playoff spot. Not quite, but we're really close. If we can win like two or three games, then I think we'll have locked it up. Maybe. What have been my best moves so far? I'm just curious. Let's look at history, decision history. Getting Bo Naylor looks like a really good idea. Yeah, this wasn't a great deal. This was not a great deal. Like, I don't know how you're earning so much war. Did Nassim Nunez? He's fine but he's not great i think it's mostly because gavin lux was such a fucking dumpster fire i mean he's having a good time in the indies so good for him but yeah he was just genuinely that bad eh. oh here we go it'll it'll show here yeah i guess it is nunez Yeah, it's that Romero and Alcantar haven't done anything yet, which is fair. Adam Mako turned out to be a good player? I mean, good is relative, but he hasn't been terrible. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think we're coming out ahead on trades. I genuinely do. Um... I like how Andy Giacoletto is already one of the best players I've ever added. But let's not lose sight of the fact of Sergio Zapata. That's funny. I haven't lost that much, and I've done a really good job of making the right picks that I think has helped us out tremendously. Um, I do need to be more productive in the draft if we're going to be good long term, but I'm still pretty happy. Like, we take a quick look. Let's let's take a peek at peek. Our shiny default. Oh, I don't have the fancy default in here, do I? No, I want that. And then I want to know the year was drafted, the round, and the pick. And then save as the new default view. So I have two draft picks on this roster, Jacques Aletto and Thomason. Everybody else was a trade or a free agent signing. Or international free agent signing. Or a rule five pick in Colton Hartman. That's pretty good. If we look at the pitching, is it any better? Uh, yes, I have one pitcher on my roster, which is Ernie Jarvis. Yeah, we haven't drafted great, but I haven't had great draft picks either. And some of the guys that I did draft high are still in the prospect pipeline. Like, if we look at the Charlotte Silver Wolves, there's still some really good talent that is making its way through the minors. It's just kind of far away. And I think that's my biggest issue as a team is that most of my great players are pretty deep in the minor leagues. Um, and that's fine. Like, that's, that's how it has to be. It's just going to take time for these guys to develop. And some of the guys that I drafted quite highly are either not with the team anymore or have already flamed out. Uh, if we look at our team's draft history, I mean, David Shields is garbage. Do you remember when David Shields was good? I don't remember. Apparently, he was always terrible. How did they pick all these awful players? Like, did something happen? Like, I feel like I wouldn't have chosen David Shields if I had known he was that terrible. I guess he was better at one point. I guess he did have a little bit of upside at one point. But, I mean, Thomason, Jacoletto, Jarvis are all hits, and Varner and Barnwell haven't had a... a Varner and Darnell haven't hit the majors yet, so there's still a chance to see more draft classes being of high quality. Um, Let's go to the end of the regular season, guys. Boom! First appearance... First postseason in Charles of Wolves history. I love it. I'd love to keep you in half. I cannot afford you. Uh, you cannot be afforded right now. You just want too much money. Um, We're going to be in a little bit of trouble. We're going to be in a little bit of trouble. I'm assuming your option is already vested. That seems pretty likely to me.
Oh, you know what I like having? I like having the options uh, listed here, too. There we go. Yeah, he's already made it. If he throws one more inning, he gets a bonus. I mean, Gunnar Henderson's already gotten his bonus. So let's go back to the budget information. No, not budget information. Maybe I need payrolls, player expenses, maybe? No? Maybe I stick with this. That's good to keep an eye on. We did it, guys. We made the postseason. Genius. Is you know, Ronnie Rodriguez? Oh, no, he's been on the um, minor leagues the whole season. Okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, we do we dive right into it. And we got Raffle stomped in our first game. And in our second. You know what? We were competitive in both games. And we had a phenomenal season. I don't think I can be too upset with how the season ended. We made the postseason. I mean, yes, some of my best players didn't play that well, but they also didn't have a chance to because of the shortness of the series. Um, we had the second best offense in the AL and the fourth best pitching. That's insane to me. I am not mad. I'm not even annoyed. I'm so happy that we made it ahead of schedule, essentially. But I didn't say it would take us five seasons. And I think it has taken us exactly five seasons. Um, Let me double check that. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I did think it's taken us five, se five seasons. Six. It's taken us six seasons. Um, And that's what's wild. If we had had a better bullpen, because I guarantee it's the bullpen's fault, we would have won 96 games. To put that in perspective, that would have put us still in second place in the AL East, but we would have been stuck in with a bullet and could have potentially even beaten the Orioles and won the East Division. Um... Yeah, I am very pleased with how the season went. And I think there's enough upside, and we'll look at that once the postseason is over with. I think there's enough upside there that we could very well see an improvement next year. Um, by OPS, Sergio, Sergio Zapata was the best hitter in the league. That feels like another rookie of the year. That feels like two rookie years in consecutive seasons. I think we got really lucky, though. We got lucky because we spent really smartly in the offseason, and most of our free agent acquisitions worked out. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, most of them turned out really, really well for us. Damn, Seattle. Let Atlanta have a chance. What a great year for you. Well done. That Julio Rodriguez guy, pretty solid. He's a pretty solid baseball player. I 
I do feel pretty good about myself. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm going to save this decision for next episode. I need to think about that one a little bit before I make any choices there. I made the playoffs. You like having a better center fielder. You want a Cy Young Award winner. It'll happen. Just be patient. Really, I get a one-year deal. I am the only man general manager you've ever fucking had. And the gratitude I get is, oh, you get a one-year deal. I am annoyed as shit that that is what you give me. Mm. You fuckers don't know a good thing when you got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to be salty a little bit later on, but for now, let's talk about who performed really well. Andy Chocoletto was better than his rookie season. He started hitting for power in a big way. That's nuts. An already fantastic player just turned in a season that's MVP caliber most seasons. I don't think he's going to get it this year, but he's in the running for it. Sergio Zapata just had the league in OPS. He was a phenomenal player in every definition of the term. Even a decent outfielder. Not a great center fielder, but that's not what he's here for. Awesome. Bo Naylor had a career season. Mostly because all of a sudden he started cranking balls out of the park. His power numbers went up really high this year. So he is not likely to repeat that necessarily, but we'll just do the best we can with him. Gunnar Henderson is not what we're paying for, but what he is is good enough. I mean, I'm getting hosed here. I'm getting hosed hard for how much money he's demanding and how much value he's actually providing. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with getting a good third baseman who's also happens to be a pretty talented hitter. He's not perfect, but he's pretty good. Juan Escalera had a very nice sophomore season. He also improved substantially and started really driving balls out of the park. Dylan Carlson doesn't really count. He didn't play all that much for me, but he did play effectively. Brandon March is what he is at this point. He's a two-win player. And there's nothing wrong with being a two-win player. But I just think we need to get younger. I don't know. What does Brandon March want in an extension? Here's the problem. I need to deal with arbitration before I can think about bringing him back. Piguero is what he is. He's a really good defensive second baseman who hits enough that he's not an embarrassment. But he's certainly not a world beater at second base by any stretch of the imagination. Ian Happ had an okay season. Henry Bolt ended up having a decent season. Nafi Rosario was replacement level, which I think is actually a minor as a minor miracle um, given his skill set. It's going to take a lot for him to be a really productive player, but at least we have him. Um, our bench was kind of shallow this year, and Henry Bolt definitely, for as much playing time as he's gotten, should be a better performer. We may need to upgrade at left field. I think that feels pretty likely. Uh, what do we got pitching-wise? How do we do with the pitching? Hunter Brown was by far our best starter, but that makes sense, right? He's an amazing pitcher. I didn't. He wasn't terribly effective for us, but he's still an amazing pitcher, and I still, I'm still glad to have him next season. 
The other guy who's really big, again, somebody who didn't pitch for us very much. Bubba Chandler gets shit done. He's a horse. He pitches effectively. I think he's due for a new contract. Graham Ashcraft. The same guy that we let go the first time. And then he came back and was even better. Ernie Jarvis has to stay healthy. Another 10 starts and he's in that 3-4 to four win territory that we expect him to be. But he just needs to stay healthy. But he at least seems like a really good pitcher and somebody that we can continue to enjoy having a great season. Colton Hartman might be the unexpected surprise of the season. I think he's got a ton of potential. And the fact that we got him for a Rule 5 pick is extremely awesome. The bullpen was really solid this year. Like, I know I gave him a bit of shit here and there, but other than, ironically, the closer being garbage, we had a pretty good bullpen. If we get another one or two really solid arms, I think we've got a chance of building our success. Luis Skill is why we lost so many games this year. He fucking sucked. Um, you cannot have a closer that walks six people for nine innings. They cannot be done. So yeah, you're going to find yourself a new fucking team and you're going to like it. Because I don't want to deal with your shit again. Um, yeah. So we could still get better. That, I think, remains true. And will always be true. Uh, we're pretty far away from having the kind of team I'd love to have. Which is a team with quality starters at every position. Um, and a couple of big time pitchers. We're going to have to be really careful about who we resign and who we let go. I think that is essential to us being a successful team next season is only signing the players that we know we're going to contribute in one way or another. But that's a topic for next episode. Um, until then, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.